Hey everybody, today I need to explain pagination in HTML and CSS. Pagination is the method by which a document is separated into pages and numbers are given. Using pagination on a website, we can move between pages easily. It's kind of like you're reading a book. Each page has a number. Pagination might also be useful on your web page if you need to limit the results. Maybe you only want so many results per page. Then you can easily navigate between the pages. There's many different uses. So let's begin. We'll start with our index file. I will create an h1 element with the title of this is page number one. Then we'll create some sample text. Within a paragraph element, I'll type lorem, then hit tab to generate some text. Usually with pagination, it's found at the bottom of a web page. So that's a good place for it right here. There's many different ways in which we can create pagination, but using only what we know so far that I've covered in this series, here's one way. We'll create a div element with a class of pagination. Then be sure to close it. Within this div element, we'll create several hyperlinks. We'll need an a tag. I'll set the href attribute just to be empty for now. And then we'll close it. For this example, let's create a total of seven links. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beginning with the second link, that will be one, then two, three, four, five. For my first link, I'll use a left angle bracket. This is so we can navigate backwards, depending on what page we're on. And with the last link, I'll use a right angle bracket so we can navigate forwards. We'll revisit this page. Let's head to our style sheet. The first thing I'm going to do is center all of these links within my div element. I'm selecting my class of pagination. I will use the text align property, set it to center. Then I would like to style all of these links, these hyperlinks. We're starting with our pagination class. Then I would like any A elements found within the pagination class. Let's change the color. I will set the color to be black. Let's eliminate the text decoration. That is the underlining. Text decoration, none. I'll add a little bit of padding. Eight pixels by 15 pixels. I will display these elements as an inline block. Basically, by setting these elements to have a display property of inline block, we can adjust the width and height of these elements. But what we have is good already. All right, so far so good. Going back to our HTML file, I'm going to make one change. We're beginning with page one. That's our index file. With this anchor tag, I will set the class to be active. Within our CSS file, we're taking our pagination class find all A elements within our pagination class, then find any active classes. So it's gonna look a little strange. Within the pagination class, within any anchor tags, find the class that's active. So in this case, it would be page one. I will change the background color of that element. Background color, let's pick a greenish color but feel free to pick any color you like. That's pretty good. Let's try and make the font weight bold. I wanna see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. This part's optional, but I'll add a border radius around this element, the one that's currently highlighted. Border radius, five pixels seems fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now if any element is not active, we can style them. This part's gonna look a little strange. Select the pagination class. With any A elements, we will use the hover pseudo class. If these elements are hovered over, but they're not active, then I'd like to highlight them. We'll use the not pseudo class. Find any elements that are not within the active class. I will change the background color to something maybe gray, like that. Then I'll add a border radius of five pixels. 
When we hover over these inactive links, they should change in color. Let me make that a little bit lighter though. That looks pretty good. Now we need some functionality for these pages. If we click on one, that should take us to our first file, which is named index.html, or it could be named something else for you. The second link will bring us to a page named page two, which we still need to create. Then page three.html, page four.html, page five.html. Now with these back and forwards buttons, we can easily navigate through pages using JavaScript, but unfortunately we really don't know JavaScript at this point. At this point in time, the easiest way for us to move forwards or backwards using these arrows is to list a specific file. If we're on page one and we need to move forwards, that will bring us to page two. For the last hyperlink, I will set that to be page two. If we're on page one, then we hit the backwards button. While we're really not gonna go anywhere, we can either leave this link empty or we can refresh the page just by listing the page that we're currently on. Now we need to create these pages. What I'm gonna do is go to our website folder. I will copy this index file, paste it, then rename this copy as page2.html. Let's copy page two, paste it, change page two copy to page three. We're gonna do this all the way until we reach page five. Now, if we go to page two, let's change the title to be page two. The back button will bring us to our index file, also known as page one in this case. Let's set the class of active to be within the anchor tag, page two. Then if we move forwards, we want to go to page three. So then if we go to page three, if we move backwards, we're going to page two. Set the class that's currently active to be on page three. Then if we go forwards, we're on page four. Oh, be sure to change the title too, I forgot. Two, three, we're good. Then on page four, this is page four. If we move backwards, we're gonna go to page three. Change the class to reflect page four. If we move forwards, we'll go to page five. Then lastly on page five, this is page five. If we move backwards, we're going to page four. Move the class over to page five. Then we can't really go forwards, so I'm just going to set the forward button to be page five again, just to refresh it. Or you can eliminate it, either way. All right, let's see if this works. Be sure to save everything. So we should be able to move between the pages by clicking on these buttons or the arrows. We're on page one, we can go to page two, three, four, five. We can also use the arrows. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody, so that's pagination. It's a method by which a document is separated into pages, and that is simple pagination in CSS.